Sometimes you get an old project gun in the shop and the old screws in this thing are just boogered up. So, in this video, we're going to make some new screws. Hi, my name is Jim Green and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks in Millbridge, Maine. Today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to make a gun screw. We're going to make a couple of gun screws. Working on a customer project for a local guy here, we've got a Remington rolling block. This is a, an action from an original black powder cartridge gun. We're actually going to convert this to fire a low pressure 3855 Winchester cartridge. But, whenever I disassembled this gun and got, got the receiver ready to do color case hardening, I noticed that the screws in here, one of them was missing and the other one was boogered up pretty badly. I've already done all the measurements that I need and I'll cover that later on. So what we need to do now is we're going to make a pair of screws here and here in order to hold the trigger guard in place. So let's get started. You notice the way I've got the lathe set up today, I've got my three jaw scroll and chuck in. Basically, three jaw scroll chuck means that every time I turn one of these little lugs right here, it doesn't matter which, all three jaws move in together equally. Best thing I've found to make screws out of is called drill rod. Uh, this is basically what drill bits are made of. It's easily heat treated and hardened, but it's pretty good to machine too. So I've got a piece of 5 16 drill rod set up in here. And I've gone back before I did the color case harden, and with the boogered up thread holes, I found that a 1024 tap is the best thing to fit. So these holes here on this side have been tapped out. I've already got all my major dimensions for the head over here on this side and for the shank to go down in the hole. Now we could do this one of two ways. Since it's a 1024 and there's a lot of standard taps available, I could choose to just say, heck with it, I'm just going to tap it by hand. But today, since we're uh, actually covering some lathe work, we're going to actually cut the 1024 thread pitch, or the 24 threads per inch, on the lathe today. All right, the first thing we're going to do with our rod right here is we're going to set it up to face it off. Because I have cut some pieces off of here already, so we want to make sure we start off with a nice, flush face. So I get everything here zeroed up. I'm going to back off over here a little bit and get some coolant started. smooth start to our uh, little uh, machine screw right here for the receiver. Alright, so let me go back, set up, and start turning the larger diameter for the head on this thing. Okay, the diameter of my rod right here is going to be 312 thousandths, and we've got to make the, the head diameter fit in this hole right here, because it's going to have a head on the screw. This is not the main part of the body, but just the head. It's 275. So we're going to have to take about, um, what is that, 37 thousandths off the outside of this. So let's go ahead and get started cutting this. I'll try to keep this thing choked up as tight as I can towards the chuck because these smaller pieces here, as you're cutting, have a tendency to flex and 
to flex out a little bit, that's going to cause problems. You're not going to have a good cut. On really small, thin diameter stuff, doesn't matter how far up I choke up on that thing, it's going to flex anyway. So then I'll either use a steady rest or a fall rest on the carriage. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to get questions. Well, how do you know what speed to set the machine up? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's like this. Depending on the type of lathe you're using, I'm going to refer you to the Machinery Handbook 25th edition. Depending on what type of uh, material you're cutting what, and uh, what kind of bits that you're using in your lathe, that Machinery Handbook is going to have a chart in there It's going to tell you what your speed rate and your spindle speed needs to be. One thing to keep in mind whenever you're uh, cutting something on a lathe like this, you're hogging this thing out, getting it down to the uh, proper diameter, you're not really making any money. But don't be afraid to take a pretty good chunk out of this thing. You see the chips I got peeling off here. I'm peeling about this much off. Here, in fact, take a look. Side diameter turned down. I've loosened the chuck and I've slid it back up in there and choked up on it a little bit because I don't want this to flex too much. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go from our turning bit to our threading bit. I'll be right back when I have the machine set up. Okay, for threading we pretty much got the angle on the compound head set for 29 and a half degrees. We're cutting 60 degree V threads on this, 24 threads an inch. Take a look down here. I've got the bit set up with the fishtail. And we're ready to change your gears out. Alright, we're going to set this thing for 24 threads per inch. So this is going to be our position of the gears right here. So we're set 24 threads per inch. We're ready to start threading this thing. 24 threads per inch. Now since this is going to be a screw, a machine screw that's only going to go into this side of the receiver and it's going to have to pass through here, we're not going to thread the entire length of it. Just the first little bit. Now keep in mind what I've done is I've cut the screw too long. Reason being is I want a little bit sticking out the side. That way I can trim it to the length that I want it to. Dress the head of it up. over here that you can't see, for 24 threads per inch it says 1-8, so I'm going to start at thread position number 1 right down here. file I tapered this in while the machine was running. See how these threads came out. That was our last pass. Well, 
And there's our threads. Now, a couple things that I did not cover, because like I said, this is not gunsmithing 101. I didn't cover the major and minor diameters. I didn't tell you how to use the three wire uh, thread gauge to measure everything, the pitch and everything else. That's something that you're going to have to learn through uh, community college courses on uh, how, to do a, how to run a lathe. And I'm going to suggest you pick up machinery handbook number 25. All right, so what we're going to have to do next is we're going to have to cut the head. We're going to have to cut a screw slot in the end of it. Then we're going to have to heat treat and harden this screw. So keep watching. I'm going to show you how to do all that in the second video. Thanks for watching this latest video. Down East Gunworks is now shifting towards building custom rifles. If what you see in this video interests you, or if you have a special project in mind, contact the shop through Jim at DowneastGunworks.com. And a special thanks to the folks that contributed to this project.